how the hell could I forget this day? The 30th anniversary. I was seven. I was seven when this damn film came out. Um, and to this day, in my, at least in my top 10 favorite films of all time, I, I love it so much. I, I've seen it so many times. Um, Hanson Productions and all that, that did a lot of the comic, uh, the comic, the costumes and everything for the Turtles, just amazing. Uh, Steve Barron did an awesome job as a director and all that. Pretty much a movie nobody really, no studio, excuse me, no studios really gave a damn about. No studios want to release it. Nobody really cared about it. And to this day, nobody really cares about it in studios. I mean, because they don't want to release uh, like an, the ultimate edition of the original TMNT film. <sighs> I, I don't know if Nickelodeon owns the rights to this one. Um, I don't know if it's, I think it's New Line Cinema. Yeah, New. Is it New Line Cinema? Yeah, New Line Cinema. I don't know if New Line Cinema still owns the rights to that, but yeah. Um, Kevin Eastman and Peter Laird, the original creators. Um, yeah, for a movie that 1990 made a hundred and some million dollars on a 10, 12 uh, million dollar budget, it's, it's amazing for an independent film. And what really made this film so fun, it was gritty, it was fun, it was nothing that you've never seen before, that to this day, honestly, in live action form, you've never seen before, because uh, the Michael Bay uh, production films, he didn't erect it, he produced it, but really got awful. Um, certainly the second one, one of the most slap in the face, spit on you type movie that I've ever seen and it still pisses me off after seeing it making Casey Jones a police officer <sighs> they they had it right in this film uh, Eli Elias Cortez and all that did an amazing job as Casey Jones and Judith Hogue did in my own honest opinion probably one of the most amazing April O'Neil um it's really hard to replace her. Uh, Megan Fox was hot and everything, but no. I, I, if I had to choose at least one April, it would be jo Judith Hogue and all that. Um, probably one of my favorite animated series has to be my number one. It has to be 2031 after that, 1986, 2012, and the new one I haven't seen yet, but yeah. Um... There hasn't been a really vicious, brutal shredder or a really vicious villains and in any cartoons other than 2003 one. Uh, probably the new ones, they're vicious, but not as vicious and gritty as the uh, For Kids series. But yeah. Um, and me, honestly, if I were to start this, if, if I were to redo or um, probably remake this film... I probably would do a whole clean slate with everything and just not do what Steve Barron did and just really do something amazing. Probably I, I would take the first film would have no shredder in it. Probably would have the second issue of TMNT, which you have the introductions to Baxter Stockman. So, yeah. And then during the entire series of films, you introduce Shredder bit by bit by bit until he's shown in a, I don't, I don't know, quadrilogy, synctilogy, or whatsoever, how many movies you want to make and all that, and just make it special. Uh, because, to me, honestly, it, it would be something special that the more you see the films, the more you want to see a shredder, and you see some vicious... Uh, for 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 um for num no uh formable for <laughs> I can't say the word um hard hard to beat villains I should say <laughs> um yeah I me like I said probably Baxter Stockman I probably would use the uh Splinter and the Rat King um scenario. 
uh, which a lot of you people have seen, I've read the comics, will know what, what I'm talking about. Um, the other ones, uh, the, probably a Triceratrons, uh, the um, do Untrons, Utrons, and all that. Well, not Untrons, but Utrons. Um, there, there, there's so much villains in, uh, you can use, like, from other things and all that, Mondo Gecko, you can use different characters and everything, and just create an amazing story, but anyways, we're not here, me talking about a lot of this shit, we're here talking about the original TMNT film, uh, that you really should watch it tonight, um, and just enjoy it, just enjoy it, and just, um, how can I say this, uh, And it's glorious. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah. That's pretty much what I have to say. So, yeah. Anyways, everybody. Um, again, celebrate this film. Celebrate this amazing film. Um, and all. Uh, also, I would highly recommend you go buy the German edition. Which includes commentary by Steve Barron. And a whole buttload of special features. A couple of special features and all that. Lead scenes and everything. So, yeah. Anyways, everybody. Um, cowabunga, dudes. <laughs>